Hey guys, it's Harleywood. We're at SHOT Show 2022 at the Facts and Firearms booth. I'm here with Pat, and yesterday we were out at the range with you, and we got to shoot yeah. the very, very hype 8.6 Blackout. How's it hit? Um, we shot supers and subs, and I like how you put it. This is the 300 Blackout for the AR-10 enthusiasts. Is that accurate? Exactly. So tell me a little bit about this. What are the highlights? Yeah, so... Um, like you said, it's the big brother to 300 Blackout. 300 Blackout fits in an AR-15 size gun. Uh, 8.6 Blackout's meant for an AR-10 size. Um, one of the great things about that is it is all designed to be super or subsonic and designed around short barrel length. So you notice some of the barrels hanging here. The longest barrel length we have here is 16 inches. Okay. Um, what we were shooting all day yesterday was a 12 inch um, you know, custom Remington talk, 700. Talk about the distances that we were shooting yesterday. We did uh, subs at 350, yep. right? But you took the subs out how far? I shot the supers out to 1,000. The supers yep. out to 1,000. Yep. And your hold wasn't that, that extreme. No, no, you hold about a mil and a half high at 1,000 with the supers based on zeroed at 350 for subs. So yeah, we were shooting 300 grains here, match game bullets, okay. uh, subsonic out at 350 at a eight inch, you know, steel plate, hitting it all day. Um, it's a lot of fun. And, and the really unique thing about the round that um, I haven't seen anybody do before is the one in three twist. So let's talk about that because Faxon is obviously known for their barrels. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys do a lot of stuff just looking at this booth, but barrels, is, is it accurate to say that's where you kind of cut your teeth and that's yeah. what you're most known for? Yeah, yeah, and, that's, and, that's what most people are gonna know us for is our barrels. We make all of our barrels in house. We have all the equipment, all the machines. So we've developed the process to rifle a one in three twist. Um, Which is, it has been a challenge, right? I've heard that it, there were some other manufacturers that may or may not have been able to. Some be machines have been broken, yeah. some tooling's been broken, we've broken tooling, you know, it's, it's all part of the development process. So the one and three twist, twist is really unique because it's significantly faster than anything else out on the market. Um, and what that's doing is it's transferring more energy on target. It's taking a little bit of the energy that you would typically see as flash or sound. Okay. And it's putting that into the bullet. So what kind of energy are we having? Like, let's talk about the 350 mm -hmm. with the subs and maybe the 1,000 yards with the supers. What kind of energy are we delivering in there? Or am I uh, on the spot? I don't know the specific numbers. I'm not the numbers. Because you hear some stuff yeah. that it's, it's delivering more at 1,000 than the 308 does. Yeah, I, that I've never, I haven't shot. Um, you know, I, I don't know that part of it. Um, but typically, or what, what we've been saying and what we've seen so far in shooting is that on target, energy on target, you're getting more energy out of a 12 inch um, 8.6 than a 16 inch 308. Mm, okay, maybe that's the comparison yeah. that, that yep. I've been hearing. Um, now, the one and three twist is, is incredible. What kind of rifling? I think that was one of the first questions I've asked, and I've actually seen a lot of my partners around here, mm -hmm. that, you know, other YouTube channels, and they're like, wait, what kind of rifling is it? Yeah, so it's button rifling. That's our specialty. Um, and it was something that was really smart when Q developed the cartridge. They said that it had to be able to be button rifled. Okay. Because button we'll rifling. Go ahead. So button rifling gives you the most economical barrels, it's the most efficient process for to, production. For, yeah, for a production setting. You know, you can cut rifle a one in one barrel, but you're gonna be paying six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for that barrel. And that's just not really feasible on the general consumer market. Okay. Where we're expecting our line of AR ten and Remington seven hundred barrels to come in between two twenty five and three fifty. And so the other thing that we were talking about earlier is this is literally a barrel swap. You can yeah. use your same three oh eight bolt yep. base, all that stuff. So yeah, so just a barrel swap, just like 300 Blackout is for an AR-15. Okay. Um, same magazines, so nothing special on the mags. You don't have to modify them. The gas they system will work the same? Yep. Or is there any? Okay. Yeah, so it's designed around a pistol length gas system. Okay. Um, the 16 inch goes up to carbine. So, but we're running a 875 diameter gas journal, so it has to be a little bit bigger just to set your gas tube up higher, higher. Um, and that that's that's to clear this here yeah and that's that's all that's for um, so that's a little minor detail that took some tweaking but okay. when when stuff rolls out to the consumer market we're expecting it to go together like any other AR um, there's not anything really unique or proprietary as far as building it out 
the only real specialty item would be if you want to suppress it, you need a 338 suppressor. 338, so the yep. trash panda, no go. I mean, Probably not for I, multiple when rounds. When I walk, yeah, not yeah. multiple. When I walked up and I looked at this, I said, "Holy cherry bomb! This thing yeah. is way bigger than I'm used to." Yep, so. yep. And what we're doing on our initial barrels, um, we're doing the Q muzzle taper on there. So if you taper have, everything. yeah, if you have a direct thread can um, in 18 by one and a half, okay. then it'll direct thread right on there. It's got the uh, tapered muzzle shoulder to to really snug it up. And we were pulling cans on and off guns yesterday, and it took. For something that was just hand tightened down, it took a lot of force to break, break it, it free. Yeah. Now talk about availability. When is this available now? Not just yet. We're expecting to uh, be shipping barrels in the first half of this year. Okay. Um, we've got a little bit more testing to do, and we want the uh, the ammo availability to pick up a little bit. So Hornady's working on ammo, Gorilla, it's and then the gorilla discrete move. ballistics. Yep. Uh, Gorilla's been a partner of ours for years. So we've always loved working with those guys. So it just works out perfectly. We've got a Gorilla gas gun in here. I'll roll in a picture of one of the rounds, but I think yeah. it was one of the sub that has all those little slits in it. Yeah. So, so, so that bullet specifically was pulled out of, I believe, a Cape Buffalo that Kevin Brittingham, the owner of Q, shot over in Africa. And what you'll typically see is the, the pedals kind of fl flare out in a predictable pattern. But with the one and three, you're actually seeing a shift to those because they're opening up when they hit, you know, Cape Buffalo or whatever animal you're shooting or ballistic shell, and it's torquing them so much so because it's, twisting. yeah, yeah, it, it's a really cool look and it's a really good way to kind of understand what the one and three is doing. Awesome. And if people want to check out our website, We've got a landing page for it with some specifics on availability. We've got a mailing list that you can sign up for that's eight six blackout specific. So any updates, timelines, sign up for the email. We're gonna blast that out. It's factsandfirearms.com slash eight six BLK. Perfect. Well Pat, thanks man. Thanks a lot, man. It was yeah. a lot of fun yesterday. Yeah. This is exciting.